Hey everyone, Makes the Bookworm here. How are we doing? Are we having a great day? Are we excited that school is almost over? I can hardly believe it. And now, speaking of school, I have a fun story to share. And it's called... Little Hedgehog's Big Day. Yes, we are almost done school and he is starting school. But I thought it would be fun. Lately, I've been surrounded by little toy hedgehogs and I've been thinking of them and I thought they are really cool creatures. So why don't we read a story about one? My favorite name for hedgehogs is Hedgy. So I hope everyone likes that name. If not, we can always call him Hedge or Hedgehog or Mr. Hedgehog. It doesn't really matter. Our story is about Little Hedgehog is about to start big school, but he's worried that he's just not big enough. Can his friends, Rabbit, Squirrel, and Badger help? Well, we're about to find out if a hedgehog is ready to go to school. Little Hedgehog's Big Day only a few days to go until you start big school, said Mom. Little Hedgehog smiled. He knew Mom was so ex was excited, so he pretended he was too. But really, his tummy felt full of butterflies. That means that he's nervous and worried. Poor little Hedgehog. That night, Little Hedgehog was too worried to sleep. He kept thinking about how big, big school would be. Would there be a big table? Would there be a big chair? Would there be a big teacher? In the morning, he knew what he needed to do. He had to get big, really big, but how? Hmm. Exercise, said Rabbit. I bounce at least a hundred times a day. It makes me strong and my legs long. Wow. Rabbit stretched out his big bunny leg and little hedgehog compared it to his own. He looked tiny. Oh, and I eat carrots. Lots and lots of carrots, Rabbit said before bouncing away. Uh, said Squirrel, jumping makes you big and eating nuts, lots and lots of nuts. They make me strong, he said, flexing his muscles. See, he jumped up quickly and dangled from a branch. Little Hedgehog jumped, but there was no way he could reach. He's just not meant for trees. Stretching, yawned Badger. I get bigger every time I stretch. Little Hedgehog stretched next to Badger, but it just made him feel even smaller. So Little Hedgehog tried to bounce like Rabbit, jump like Squirrel, and stretch like Badger, but he still didn't feel any bigger. What are you doing? asked Ant. I need to be big, cried Little Hedgehog, for big school. Why? said Ant. I'm small, but I can still do lots of things. When he got home, Little Hedgehog ran to find his mom. Do you think I am ready for big school? he asked her. Well, she replied thoughtfully, 
Let's take a look. She brought down a photo album from the shelf. Inside were lots of pictures of little hedgehog. Just look at all the things you have done already, said Mom proudly. Then Mom showed him an old picture of a little hedgehog with a school hat and a book bag. Goodness, that was my first day at school, said Dad from the doorway. On the first day of school, Little Hedgehog was all ready to go. I look just like you, Dad, he said, smiling. Little Hedgehog went to school, and it wasn't so big after all. He took out his book and was just practicing his letters when... You can write, said Rabbit and Squirrel. Wow, said Badger. Can you show us? They all asked together. Of course I can, he smiled. I can do lots of things. The end. Hedgehog may have been little, sh little, but he was able to do a lot of things, and we all learn new things. It doesn't matter we're big or small. What matters is that eventually we're all going to learn them, and then we'll be more knowledgeable. We weren't born knowing how to write our name or learn the alphabet or read a book. I had to learn. I had to learn to do all these things, and eventually. All my friends watching this will already have learned or will learn. Just take the example of Little Hedgehog. If he can do it, so can you. I hope everyone had a wonderful time and I enjoyed reading with you. And I hope everyone enjoys their soon to be summer vacation. Yay! Until then, I'll be back soon with a new video next month. Until then, everyone. Makes a bookworm says, have an awesome time, and I'll see you then. Take care.